It's been a wonderfully fast outing for the pro men so far. Remember, Keith Turner of Rollerblade had jumped out front and was being chased by Peter Doucet. Well, Doucet in the orange stripes caught Turner and now leads this duo in their breakaway attempt. They have put some distance on the field, but are by no means out of sight. This course is mostly a straight shot from Chew Harbors to Duluth with few turns. So a successful breakaway will have to spring from raw power and strong cooperation. Right now, back in the chase pack, there is very little cooperation among the skaters to try and close that gap. Now going off the front of the chase pack, trying to bridge to the front, is Scott Baldwin. Baldwin's 29 years old, now living in San Francisco, trying to gain access to the leaders. Scotty finished fourth in the national point circuit standings in 1998. He is teammates to Eddie Matzker on twin cam. He was runner-up to Casey Boudier in this event last year, finishing just two seconds behind the Olympic speed skater. Baldwin has been training with Eddie Matzker in California. He's a much more powerful skater now as a result. You see how quickly he got in front of that chase back. He is now threatening the two leaders, Keith Turner and Peter Doucet. So the short-lived breakaway attempt by Turner and Doucet about to be joined by Scotty Baldwin, who was bridged from the chase back. But Baldwin not content at just reaching the leaders. He goes by to take the front. Doucet and Turner pick up the pace to match his momentum. Baldwin, though, now slows. He seems spent by his efforts to bridge. He cannot continue to set the pace. Doucet and Turner again spearhead the charge while Scotty Baldwin settles into third. So Baldwin in third place now trying to regain that energy he expended in bridging the gap to the leaders. Just like in any type of racing such as cycling or even auto racing, you sit in behind the slipstream of the leaders and you can save up to 30% of your energy. Cooperation among the three leaders now as they change the front man. Keith Turner now takes the pull. Back in the main group, Derek Downing leads a very animated peloton. He is pursued by Mark Delano in the blue top. The three leaders are quickly swallowed up. A frantic scramble ensues as this world champion skater begins to dictate events at mile marker number five. Downing's skating style is so powerful, he leaves the field behind in no time. In the background, you can see his closest challenger is none other than Eddie Matzker, a master of point-to-point -point road racing. Four times Matzker has won the Athens to Atlanta 86-mile skate. Eddie knows when a true breakaway is happening, and he realizes this may be the break of the race and must hook on. Downing won a single gold medal at this year's Worlds. A bit disappointing for this 23-year-old from Cummings, Georgia, after taking four golds in the 97 championships. Now just behind Downing is Matzker, and then the other two team rollerblade skaters, Chad Hedrick and Keith Turner. The cream of the crop has come to the head of the class. The battle for Matzker now is to hang on to this group, but just as I say that, Hedrick and Turner pull away on this slight uphill grade. A gap has been opened up between the rollerblade trio and Matzker, as Eddie is hung out to dry in no man's land. So the three pieces to the machine are aligned. Hedrick, Downing, and Turner, world gold medalist in the relay, begin to stroke as one, flaunting their power and cohesiveness to the rest of the field. Every stride screams, catch us if you can. The North Shore Inline Marathon continues in a moment.